How radio waves destroy photons. The particle line duality. Vosile effect. The 17th of March, 2024. In quantum mechanics, electromagnetic waves are claimed to be particles, or photons, in a contradictory postulate which is called particle wave duality. This enlightening revelation was formulated by Einstein in his photoelectric effect explanation, where he explained that light waves are indeed particles, as indeed they are waves, as they are indeed both. Amazing explanation, Nobel Academy said, and gave him their junk science prize. So by equating a wave with a particle, all properties of the EM wave, such as frequency and wavelength, and no amplitude, are transferred to the photon particle. The problem which obviously occurs is that in the case of radio waves their wavelength can be many kilometers long. Ergo, you end up with a photon particle that is many kilometers long. Which is kind of wrong if you ask me. Like many kilometers wrong. Another obvious problem that arises from this particle wave duality is that photons do not have any amplitude, while radio waves and all waves obviously do have one, and their energy is directly proportional to it. Because a wave with no amplitude is just a straight line, and not a wave. So how does a photon wave, if it has no amplitude whatsoever? All that the photon can do is behave like a line, not like a wave. Therefore the photon is a particle line not a particle wave. And a line is infinite, so the photon is infinite too. So Einstein was wrong when he said that, two things are infinite, the universe and human stupidity. Because his photon tends to infinity too. Or maybe he included his photon in human stupidity. Then, Einstein was right. He truly was a genius, because he predicted his own stupidity. Not many stupid people can do that. It takes a stupid genius duality to do that.